Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to continue with adjoint of a linear transformation. So this will probably be the last video in this particular series for on how to find the adjoint of a linear transformation. Okay, Make sure you watch the rest of the playlist, um, the videos in the playlist for linear transformation. Um, they will be very helpful for you in understanding this particular solution. So let's just get started. So the first thing is we need to find the the agent of this transformation. The first thing is um, we need to find the matrix of transformation relative to standard basis. So we need to find matrix of T relative to standard basis for R cube. And if you remember, the standard basis for R cube is given as what? E1, E2, and E3. So that means we need to calculate T of 1, 0, 0, T of 0, 1, 0, and T of what zero, zero, one. So these are the things that we need to calculate. Now, T of one, zero, zero means that what X is one, Y is zero, Z is zero, which means the first component is zero, second component is minus one, and the top component is one. So if we go through this for the second, um, for the second one, we are going to have Y is one. So we are gonna have minus one here, zero in the second component and two in the third component. What about the last one? Z is one, so the first component is one, second component is two, and the third component is zero. Now with this, we can easily write the matrix of transformation where we write the rows of this um, of, um, of these vectors as column in the matrix. So we're writing the rows as columns of this matrix. Now, this is the matrix of transformation. Now, the first thing that you need to check is if A is what's symmetric, so is A symmetric? You need to check this first. The answer in this problem is yes, A is symmetric. Yes, it is. Why? Because when we find the transpose of this matrix, it's still the same thing as, so we are writing the columns as the rows of this particular matrix. So columns of A would become the rows of the transpose. So zero minus one, one becomes zero minus one, one, then minus one, zero, two, then we have one, two, zero. As you can see, the two matrices are exactly the same. So when this happens, it means, when A is symmetric, it means T is equal to T, the adjoint of the transformation, they are the same. So we say that what? T is self-adjoint. And then we can conclude that what? T star is also a transformation from R cube to R cube, such that um, T star of X, Y, Z will give us exactly the same thing um, as we have for T. Minus Y plus Z, um, minus X plus two Z and X plus two Y, right? And that will be the adjoint of this particular transformation. So the next couple of videos, we are going to look at how to diagonalize the transformation when you know that the transformation is self-agent, and then we'll go on to use this idea to solve quadratic functions, right? On how to sketch quadratic functions. So see you guys in the next video.